Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be demonstrating this highly efficient video card crypto mining rig I built over three years ago. It's currently being used to heat up this two-story house in Vancouver which is about 2,000 square feet in size. And you can see in this thermal imaging where the core heat is being generated. Even at the dead of winter, it's doing an excellent job at keeping every single room in this house warm at a nice comfortable temperature. So without further ado, hope you guys enjoy my video. Thank you. Alright, so the first card you can see on the far left is the RTX 2070 Strix Edition by ASUS. I had this extra card lying around so I figured why not add it on for the extra mining power. So next off we have 6 NVIDIA Titan V video cards. They all feature 12GB of HBM2 memory and this makes them the absolute most efficient video cards on the market for mining. And that's despite being released over 3 years ago. Even the new RTX 3000 series video cards shown in my other video can compete against these and they feature the new GDDR6X memory. The power supply this rig is using is a Corsair AX1600i. It's the most efficient power supply on the market, and even with the cheap electricity rates offered by BC Hydro, having a titanium rated power supply running at upwards of 94% efficiency at 120 volts saves a ton of money in the long run. And you can see in the thermal imaging how little heat is actually produced by the power supply. That just proves how good it really is. So the program this rig uses is called Phoenix Miner, and that's producing a hash rate of about 470 mega hash per second. The cards are all overclocked conservatively using MSI Afterburner. But anyway, with the cards all bunched up and under thermal throttling at room temperature, the rig is drawing about 1100 watts from the wall as you can see there. That's roughly the equivalent to a standard heater of about 5000 BTUs. So with a hash rate of 470 mega hash per second, and a power draw of 100 watts, that's a ratio of about 0.43 mega hash per second per watt, which is pretty incredible. I mean, for these cards that are over 3 years old, it is apparent that their technology has aged very well for mining efficiency. So basically in real life numbers, that's about 1500 US dollars a month. And that's including the cost of electricity using BC Hydro rates. Even if I were to rent out a suite in this house, I wouldn't even be making that much for monthly income. So as you can see here on MSI Afterburner, I did put some conservative overclocks on each of the NVIDIA Titan V video cards. The power limit set at 100. I do realize if I put that any lower, it eventually does crash. And then the temperature limit's maxed out. That's just because during midday it can get pretty hot in this room when the sun's shining through the window. And then the core clock set at negative 25. That's because when you're mining Ethereum, the core clock has minimal impact on the performance. So why not notch it down a bit to save a bit of power? And then the memory clock is set at plus 25. That's the highest I could put it with these Titan V video cards. I realize any higher and it does eventually crash after a month or so. And longevity is what I was really after. And yeah, finally here are the overclock for the RTX 2070. Obviously it looks a lot different, but that's because the RTX 2070 has its own unique components and materials in the video card design. So the motherboard the mining rig uses is a Biostar TB250. It has 8 PCI slots. And the CPU socket is an LGA LM51. The CPU inside is an Intel Celeron dual core. It produces so little heat and draws so little power that it only requires that passive heat sink right there. You can see in this thermal imaging also how little heat is being produced by the CPU. Along the subject of moving parts, another cool thing I like about this rig is that it uses an SSD. In contrast to a hard disk drive, an SSD as you guys know boots up much quicker, it's more energy efficient. And as well, it just runs much smoother with it. So I'm really glad I purchased this. This is probably the most cost effective component of the entire rig that I got. The last little component of the rig I want to show is a Wi Fi connect right there. It's connected to one of the PCI slots, and you can see the antenna goes up on the side right there. 
I really like having the option to run the rig on Wi-Fi just because it allows the rig to be portable and move wherever desired, as long as you have Wi-Fi connection and a wall plug available. Anyway guys, I really appreciate it if you made it this far in the video. I had a lot of fun building this rig and I'm really looking forward to the profits it brings in the years to come. I know it was a bit weird to purchase this extravagant hardware at the time, but I'm pretty confident that this is going to remain as one of the most efficient video card miners in the world. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye now.